I did it. You did it. XO. XO. Yep. So XO. overall winner of WCQ Yas in 2020. What did you play? Well, I'm ashamed to say what I played, but I played Amano Mine with Draco as an engine. Okay, right. Yeah, it's very, I'm ashamed of playing it. It's a very, very, very horrible deck profile, but I just built it for this kind of format, and it's just to counter Heroes, um, Lunar Light, Time Fee for, and the Spiral deck that's going around. Fair, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's just um, a really good generic deck profile that just beats those decks really easily. So I mean, it just clearly worked. And it just <laughs> worked out a lot better than I thought it was. So, yeah. yeah. I'll just show you the deck profile now. Yeah, yeah, go for it. So the main key card of the deck is three Amano Iwato. So it's a spirit monster that just stops every monster activating its effect, except for spirit monsters, and it only attempts to bounce during the end phase of the turn it was summoned. So you pair this with Mystic Mine, and your mine is safely on board against Big Spiral boards or the Lunar Light Time Thief board, and they just cannot strictly do anything. And then if Amano or Mine stick on board, they just completely lose. And then you just start beating them down afterwards. Um, then the Draco package is just three Ignis, uh, one Maiden, and one Dynamite, which is all fairly standard to be honest. They're just for applying pressure and applying a bit of damage. Um, you don't necessarily need their effects a lot of the time. You just have a mano to win the game literally 90% of the time. Mm -hmm. So that's just the monsters, which is just eight. Um, I didn't want to play anymore because I just thought it was going to get too bricky otherwise. And I thought this was just perfectly optimal for the monsters. And sometimes I did consider the maiden is sometimes cuttable, but personally I still liked it. It did come up today. Yeah. Um, now there's about 23 spells in this deck. Okay. so. Just a couple. Just a couple. <laughs> so we got the one diagram, sad face, yeah. uh, one terraforming, and then the card that should possibly be limited or banned, Mystic Mine. Mm. This card won me a ton of games today, and it's just such a good card paired it with the Yeah. So, yeah, this card, best card in the deck by a long, long way. And then the other one ofs are Demise and Upstart. Um, Demise, sad face, but. Yeah. Had to get limited. It's a pretty good card. Um, yeah, these are just good generic draw spells to up the consistency. You need to max out on, his, on it as much as you can since you've lost the diagram and the demise. Mm -hmm. So we've got three duality and three desires as well. Um, yeah. This card, you just want to see it because you, you don't really care if you usually draw the others. Well, if you draw two, it sucks. But drawing one plus any other piece to play is just really, really good and pivotal for this deck to even function now. And um, you just want to lock your opponent out, generate more resources, and you just have good matchups against any anything else rogue. Um, we got three disciples and three heritage, just because you know they're Draco cards. You pair them with of apocalypse, and yeah, they're just good for tribute summoning, and clearing boards. And the last few spells are two cosmic cyclone in the main and two forbidden chalice. The chalice is for the interaction with Amano, so when he attempts to bounce in the end phase, you just chain the chalice, and it makes it stick on the board, so you're not con constantly relying on the mine. Um, that is interesting. And it also makes Amano bigger whenever you need it to get bigger as well. Yeah. So it's pretty damn strong. And the cyclone was only in here because I was really scared of the Lunar Light rank up version of the deck, but I didn't see any of that today, so... This card is arguably cuttable, but this was like because I'm very scared of Doom King Kaliuga. <laughs> and it's really, really good against this deck. And you just stand by face, hit their rank up spell, and then you, they, you just start playing Yu Gi Oh! afterwards. And um, it just has some application against, obviously, rogue decks as well and back row decks. But sometimes it can give you a bit of trouble now with the loss of consistency to Draco. So they were fine overall, I'd say. Yeah. And that was the spells. There's not really much to say about this profile, I said that it's a very horrible deck for the meta, but a win's but, a win. <laughs> but a win's a win, that's, that's it exactly. And you, you've built this for the meta that you were facing, so yeah. Yeah, no, all credit, all credit. And then the last few traps are three evenly, because I'm blinding second, I just want to have the sick card to play and just want to break the Lunar Light Time Thief boards. This is just nuts against that deck. and. If I open Chalice plus evenly, it breaks the Spiral board as well. And obviously it's really good against heroes if they go first as well. Uh, so yeah, evenly it's just really, really good. And one meta first, one Imperial Order. I know this kind of goes against um, uh, when it comes to going second, but I needed something. I needed to try and fit this in and I needed something to go for 
I was against another blind second deck, yeah. and it just stops stuff like Lightning Storm and Twin Twisters, and it was and it can help actually turn off Mystic Mine if I want to start attacking as well. So Ooh, yes. it's really really good for that. Um, you need to play this card really carefully in this deck since I am playing 23 spells, so you need to time it right and you need to get the maximum value out of it. Otherwise, it's just going to start destroying you instead of your opponent. So. And the metaverse is just because more copies of Mystic Mine are dying around. And then the four Draco Traps, um, pretty standard. Yeah. Um, this is like just the, probably the best trap in the deck, to be honest, because you just protect a mana with it, and it's just so hard to get over. Of course, so you're not going to be using... You would be using the pop effect to a degree, but you're going to be halving the attack of anything that's coming out on board. Yeah, and it's, it comes up when you're... You need to apply damage in t when you get close to time as well, so... But most of the time, your game should just end before time is up. So, yeah, it's for popping stuff and having life points. And this surprisingly came up more often than I thought. But just special summoning back more Draco monsters that I discarded off of Demise because I was very good at drawing Draco monsters off of Demise. And then, yeah, that's basically the traps. There's not really much to say about it. But it's just built to beat this meta. And that's all there is. Um, yeah, I feel horrible playing the deck. <laughs> but it's good deck. It worked. Um... Let's have a look at the extra deck. The extra deck is literally not real for the most part. Uh, just Nightmare Phoenix, Cerberus, Barload, Bar Sword. Uh, just generic stuff if you need to clear things. There's some random rogue matches I tested online against and I made these guys somehow yeah. <laughs> or another and they just came in handy. Um, yeah, they, I never really, I didn't make these at all today. This comes up if you have double Amano or border Amano and you need to do some damage, but it didn't come up. Um, this was just because I wanted to do some more damage if I had double Draco monster. Yeah. And I can rank it up into the Gaia Dragon, Dragon Thunder Charger and start attacking with it. So it's pretty nice. And I wanted to be able to out any problematic monsters. So problematic monsters were dealt with with these guys. So just two level fives will make this a free seven monster so I can get over stuff like Ultimate Falcon or just really big monsters like that. Um, this was just because I needed a 15th slot slot for the, <laughs> uh, the one or two Cyber Dragon players in the room, yep. and they think that they got you with their OTK, and then you just contact fuse their entire board away. And it's <laughs> for yes. the laws of it. And, and did you resolve today? No, I didn't play a single Cyber Dragon player. Okay. Um, and then the last four cards are waking the dragon targets. So Ultimate Falcon, Exterio. Flower Cardian, Light Flare, and the Last Warrior from another planet. Okay, the, the Flower Cardian is an interesting one. Yes, yeah, it's another Waking the Dragons target that's 5k, which also outs big monsters as well. Yeah. Um, but I never summoned these two today, although I could have summoned this and I applied more damage, but I didn't for some reason. I just didn't think about it. Yeah. I summoned these two all the time, and they were both insane. The, the difficulty of getting around it is just... Yeah, and when you special summon this off of Waking the Dragon, if you have a mano on board, it doesn't activate, so it doesn't blow up your mano either, so they cannot summon monsters, and then they cannot activate any monster effects either. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I did that a couple of times today, and they just insta-scooped to this, and the only out to it is to literally have double impermanence for this and the mano, so it's just about making your board as hard to out as possible, This is all this deck it really is, and it's about applying as much pressure, but yeah, that's basically that. Uh, 15 in the extra, um, 40 in the main, and we will go to the side deck. So, side deck was three golden balls. Um, they were just there for, the, again, the Lunar Light Time Thief deck, um, the spiral boards, and the um, hero boards, just against any deck that makes a big board really. Um, they're, they're really good. Um, I didn't resolve it once today, but I resolved it a lot of times last week at the other regional. Um, I, I wouldn't cut it because I just think it's really good just a sphere mode and then mine someone. <laughs> and then when it comes back to you, it comes back to you. They're going to have an even harder time acting this than the, than the Mystic Mind. That's imminently going to get destroyed, but yeah, that's another scenario. Uh, three borders. Um, it's basically playing... Three Amano, free border, going first into game three. And it's just a real, like, it sticks on the board, so I'm not reliant on Forbidden Chalice or Mystic Mine to keep the Amano on board, so it's just a one card that will do stuff to your opponent, and yeah, should win you the game, usually. Mm -hmm. 
or just put your opponent far back enough that they just cannot come back. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of weird choices I picked here, but I chose to play two D barriers today. Um, I kind of wanted to play it last week because I felt that I wanted something for other decks that wanted to go second, like Mech Knight and Vote, because I was actually really scared of that matchup because their going second is better than my going second, in my opinion, because this is just like, a way to just stop the fusions from coming out, and that's their real play. I don't really care about the Mech Knights because Amano cuts them off, and yeah. Apocalypse can just have their stuff. And then, but you need something for the fusions to stop the border from being turned off effectively. Yeah. Uh, two there can be only one for Salad and just heroes as well. Um, I didn't want to play three because it, it was very subpar for most of the format, but just for the few decks that can give you trouble, I just thought I'll put these in there because it doesn't really conflict with my deck at all because I've got Machine, Rock and Worms. And most of the Waking the Dragon's targets, I'm pretty sure, are different types as well. Yeah, it doesn't conflict with the Waking the Dragon targets either, so it's pretty good. And it can stop some decks in their tracks just completely, so yeah, there's that. And then Triple Judgment in the main, uh, in the side. Um, you need to play this, it's just good for Lightning Storms, even these, that will give you a really hard time. Um, yeah, just stuff like that. You only use it when you really need to, otherwise you just, you let stuff like... Um, desires, extravagances, you just usually let that go through because you don't want to get even lead after, so you only save it for the real blowout cards, otherwise you just don't really need this a lot of the time. But it's just nice to have it as like great insurance. And then MVP card of the side deck, definitely waking the dragons. <laughs> I resolved this about four times today. Yeah. Like I summoned both of these guys twice today. And they were really, really strong at winning games. Because Ultimate Falcon is really hard to out for decks like Salaman Great and the control decks. And this last warrior just stops any of the big combo decks from doing anything at all. Because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't keep impermanence in for this kind of deck because it's just Draco Mine. And yeah. When they side them out, I just have this and That's what are they going to do? They've got to have mind control and but then they still got to out either this or the Amano yeah. after. Correct. The, the, there's no way around. Yeah, so it's very difficult to out these kind of things and it's just about how hard you can make your board to out to other decks. So, yeah, just the amount of times I resolve this is just so funny. Because if they even blow up a Draco spell or trap, you can chain block it as well. So Ash doesn't even go off if you don't have any of this. But usually, this will always resolve because you have Amano, this, or Mystic Mine on board. And then you just win the game from there onwards. But yeah, I highly rate this card because I just knew that Lightning Storms and twin twisters and cyclones were just flying everywhere and loads of people had them and I just didn't want to get completely blown out by them so I had this. Yeah. Um, if I could play Trap Trick I possibly might have played it but I just didn't find the room for it and I didn't really miss it at all today but yeah. But that's mainly the deck profile. It's pretty good and it did me well today so yeah. <laughs> what well, can I say? Clearly, um, you're I'm sat there in three boxes of new deck <laughs> yeah. and the, the uh, new Ignister man as well so uh, yeah. well well done dude you you did an absolute incredible job yeah I'm a monster today <laughs> 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 woo Stop. Hey.